All right, anyways, so we're, we're One Rate Gear. Um, we are a camo clothing company. Uh, my name's Brad, I'm running the, running the slideshow, but uh, this guy's a big man here. He's uh, Joel Williams, founder. How's everybody doing today? Are you happy to be out of school? Yeah? Okay, all right. Well, so this guy right here is Brad Warren, and, and he's the One Rate Gear graphic designer. He's the one that's helped bring One Rate Gear alive. And so I'm Joel Williams, and I'm the founder of One Rate Gear. Um, so what One Rate Gear is, is we're a camouflage clothing company, and we make hunting gear. And we have a unique style in which how we, we built our camouflage pattern. And so we're exhibiting here at the Western, uh, or the, uh, the Wild Sheep Foundation Sheep Show. Now, give me a, how many of you have ever been hunting before? Okay, so we got a couple back there. Awesome, okay. All right, so this is, our, this is our, our brand name is One Rate Gear and that's our logo and our slogan is In A Heartbeat because you'll, you'll see why we have In A Heartbeat because uh, as we explain how we, we made our camouflage pattern. <clears throat> so this is a little promo video. Okay, all right, now guess who did that? That guy right there, okay? He's the brains of the outfit, okay, I won't lie. Now here's Brad, this is Brad right here, and that's me, and that is Brad's very first deer that he ever killed, and on his very first hunt. And so that was a pretty, that was a pretty awesome moment. Now. We, what we do is we harvest them. We don't kill them, right? We harvest them because when we harvest an animal, we, we use that animal. We, we, we eat that animal. And so it doesn't go to waste. And what it does is it helps you appreciate where your meat comes from. How many people love a hamburger? Who loves McDonald's? Everybody, right? Well, it makes you appreciate that animal and, and where it came from. And so when you're eating that hamburger, you, you kind of have an idea where your meat came from. And so you can see in this picture, we're wearing our camouflage. So, uh, next slide. Now, this is me and, and this is a coyote that I, that I harvested, okay? Now we don't, do you eat a coyote? No, why, why would we shoot a coyote? Go ahead. For his fur? Yeah, for, that's, that's one reason. The, the other reason is, is that a coyote is a predator. And we have to do predator management so that our, the herds of our animals stay in line. And they're, uh, because a coyote is a great predator. And they eat a lot of birds and they, they'll even eat baby fawn deer. And, and animals like that. And so we want to manage their population and control them. And so that's one reason. I know it, a lot of people think a coyote is a dog. It's not a dog. It'll eat your dog. They're a wild animal and they're a predator and they're really good at what they do. So it's our responsibility to, to manage them. And you can see I have the camouflage on in that picture as well. Okay, go ahead, Brad. Okay, so the concept for our camouflage and its design 
is derived from a heartbeat, okay? In nature, all the patterns that you see in nature, they're patterns that are repetitive patterns. Think, think of a leaf and how a leaf is the same on each side and how branches split and how the patterns repeat all over nature. So we wanted to create a unique camouflage pattern. And so what we did is I was, I was my daughter, Vale, go to the next slide, Brad. So this is my daughter, Vale. And when Vale was being born, she was breech inside my, my wife. And does anybody know what breech means? Go ahead. That's right, they're facing the wrong way. Her feet were pointed down. And so the doctor was gonna attempt to, to, to move her so she was facing the right way at birth. And so they hooked, they hooked the baby and my wife up to a bunch of different machines and were, were uh, keeping an eye on all the vitals. And during that moment, I was looking for something to create a camouflage pattern with. I, I needed something that had a continuous pattern that just kept going. And I saw on one of the monitors, I saw the, her, her heartbeat. And I said, you know what? That would be a perfect pattern to build a camouflage pattern with. So what we did is we took um, a portion of her EKG line, and that's how we designed our camouflage. We used that and we overlaid and interconnected it and built our camouflage pattern. So, and then, they were unable to turn her, so then she, we had to, she was born by C-section. And so, and she's a healthy eight-year-old little girl now. So that's, that's very good. So here's Vale when she was a baby. Now, this is our camouflage in action, okay? And this is our pattern. Go to the next slide. So, one of the first things that we had to do is we had to pick the right colors and we had to place those colors in just the right spots so that it worked and it worked well and it adapted to nature and so we spent a lot of times making sure that this was right on track so that it, it could disappear in in nature so that's kind of how it works now this is a this is a guy from West Virginia. How many of you have been to West Virginia? Holy, quite a few people have been to West Virginia. Guess what? I've never been to West Virginia before. But because of how we designed our pattern, it works with nature just about everywhere. And so you can see this guy, this, he's in the woods, and he got this picture and sent to us, and just how well it adapts to nature and it really conceals and, and helps you disappear. So we built our pattern and we, we got a, uh, we filed for a, a, a design patent from the USPTO. Who knows what a patent is? Go ahead. So a patent is a new idea, right? It's, it's a new idea that, that you want to protect. And so our, our camouflage pattern was, was different enough that, that we were able to receive a US patent for its design. And so then once we did that, we had to, to raise some capital. Now who knows what capital is? Right, it's a, it's a city, a state capital, right? Go ahead. Money. Yeah, that's right, that's money. And so, the next slide. So, we needed some money. So, <clears throat> this is me, and, and guess who this lady is right here? This is, that's my grandma, okay? So, we, I got with my, 
with my grandma and my grandma lent us some money to start our business. And so she's a really great lady. She's a really great lady. In fact, she has a concealed carrier's permit and she used to carry a gun in her bra. Just so, yeah. So she's a, she's a super great lady. Um, and so she helped get us started. She lent us $2,000 so that we could get some material made and we could bring this dream and, and this idea to life in a company. Okay, so the next thing that we had to do is we had to, to create some products. And so uh, we wanted to, to build some clothing and gear that people would use and that would work great for them uh, out hunting. And so we, we contacted a, a guy that's been in this industry for a long time. He makes fly fishing stuff and he gets it made and his name's Mont Adams and he has a, a company called Adams Built. And then he helped us be able to go overseas and this is them making our, our material right here, okay? They're weaving our material that our camouflage uh, is printed upon. And then they build the clothing and then they, they send it over on a big uh, cargo ship, okay? And it takes, it takes uh, about a month just for that ship to sail across the ocean and make it to America, okay? And so, then once we get, we, we received our product, we had to do, we had to advertise, okay? We had to, so that people knew that we were out there, that, that our camouflage existed and it worked well for people. So, um, this is another advertisement right here that we put together. And this is one of the first advertisements at our, at our sheep show the first time that we were here five years ago. So then we had our product available. Guess who made that one? Not me, Brad did. Okay, all right. So we really, we really hit it out of the park. Everybody really loved our story. They really loved the fact that there was a, a story behind our camouflage pattern. And they also loved the fact that it worked so good out in nature. And so we, we really started selling our gear and, and there was a, a big demand for it. And so the day-to-day -day operations, um, how we advertise, who in here has a social media account? Almost, yeah, a lot of us, okay? Yep, and so that's how we advertise is we use, we use Instagram and Facebook and YouTube. And we, go to the next slide. So these are some of our advertisers that help us. These are the channels that Sin City Outdoors. These are some, a family from Las Vegas that r loves to hunt and they wear our gear and they help us advertise. This guy right here, they call him the coyote assassin because he really, he really takes care of a lot of the coyote population. And then these are some, some of our advertisers from uh, over in Elko, Nevada, and their guides and outfitters, and they also have a, a brand here at the uh, sheep show called Battleborn Wildlife, and, and they help advertise our camo as well. So this is, this is me, and we're filling a, we go through every single piece of gear that we sell, and we make sure that all of the, the clothing is, is in good working order and so that the people that buy it can can 
rely on it when they're out hunting. And so this is me checking a bunch of jackets and guess where I run my business out of? My garage, right? Okay. So that's me checking a bunch of jackets that are going out for orders. Another thing that is important is we make sure and test the gear and make sure the, that the gear can hold up and, and stand up to the abuse. And so here we are, we're testing these gaiters and a gaiter is a, a piece of gear that keeps all the rocks and dirt and snow and everything out of your uh, boots. There's nothing worse than having a rock in your shoe, right? Yeah, yep. So after that, we, we want to come out with new products and stuff. And so we, we research the market and see what is available. And then we, we figure out uh, new product designs and maybe a different way to do stuff and uh, come out with new products for people and and then we we figure out the the best manufacturer for it and to to build new gear so now this this last advertisement i just want to i want to warn all of you okay there's there's some coyotes that get shot and it's a little bit graphic, okay? And, but there's also some, there's a deer and I believe a desert sheep. And so, if, you're, if you don't wanna watch, you don't have to. You can close your eyes, but I'll tell you what, it's pretty exciting. And there's nothing better, there's nothing better than going out and, and hunting one of these animals and then harvesting it and then learning exactly where that meat comes from. You have a real appreciation for that animal. And so a lot of people think that hunters, they don't love animals. We love animals very much and we really appreciate them. And so this is kind of an exciting video that, that we want to end with. And so um, just so you know, okay, go ahead, Brad. Play it again. Awesome. Okay. Now, do we have any questions? Okay. What does it feel like? That's a that's a very good question. Um, you know what? You're you're a little you're a little bit sad. You are, um, because because you, you love that and those animals are beautiful. But at the same time, you, you develop a, a bigger, a, a more of a appreciation of those animals. And so, um, yeah, but it's a very fulfilling uh, feeling and appreciative feeling. Yep, okay, go ahead. Our best selling product. Yeah, I'd have to say our best-selling products are hooded jacket because it really keeps the hunters out of the wind and keeps them nice and warm out there. Okay, go ahead. Uh, 
That's a good question. We do. We, we've made a snow pattern with the camouflage and we've also done an urban, so like a, a black and gray camouflage type color and we just did limited amounts in those colors. Any more questions? Okay, go ahead. When did you start your business? So we, we started our business. Um, well, so now this is Vale, okay? This is, this is whose heartbeat we used, okay? Who, who gave us the inspiration for the, the camo. So how old are you, Vale? So eight years, eight years. Yep. Okay. Any more questions? Go ahead. So we we like to double our money, at least double our money. Yep. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, none of our patterns are used for the military, but we've thought because they work so well that they would work well for the military. Um, we have more patterns as well uh, and different patterns. And so maybe in the future we, we can put it on some military. We'd love to put it on the people that protect us for sure. Yep. Right here. Do you have a question? Yep, we do. We live in Fallon, Nevada. Yep. Yep, we're we're from Nevada, just like almost all of you, I think. So, yeah. So, anyways, this is our that's our our uh, our company, and and we're so glad. Oh, okay, we got an. Say that again. I'm sorry. For weapons, we do. We have a hydra dip that, that they dip gun stocks and you could even get your, your bike dipped in it and that have our, our camouflage pattern on there. So that's a great question, great question. Yep. Go ahead. We, we only sell clothing. Yep, we, we don't sell guns. Yeah, so, um, but we do sell uh, like gun stocks we can sell and stuff like that, but we, we only sell clothing. Hold on, Bill. Go ahead. My favorite, my favorite product. Um, I'd have to say my favorite product is our new puffy jacket. And we made the pattern really small on this puffy jacket. And uh, it's just really warm and comfortable and it's nice to wear while you're sleeping in your sleeping bag. Okay, that's it. We really appreciate all of you.